You see the curtain just open? Jamaican shower posse, it's a bad crew. We have to approach this with extreme caution. They claim to be good for 1,400 murders. Police, open the door. I'm gonna count to three. Let's go, Tommy. Tommy in the lobby, Tom. Let's go. Get down the ground now. Getting up at the crack of dawn because the early bird catches the worm. Eleven years I've been on the task force. I've learned that uh, the earlier you get up, the better. No traffic. It's a beautiful day. We here at the Fugitive Task Force concentrate on only the most violent, the murderers, the armed robbers. All right, Aubrey. Very familiar face. Yeah? I'm here, brother. Listen, I want to brief you up. Yeah, let's do it now. Michi, Mikey, you got a few minutes. We got to brief up the Powell case. There goes Tommy. Screaming at the top of his lungs. In the, in the conference room. I'm coming. Sit down, guy. What's up? We got uh, Aubrey Powell. What it is, illegal re-entry into the United States as an aggravated felon. Uh, this guy's got a long history. I, uh, I locked him up twice before myself. Word on the street is Aubrey Powell is a Jamaican shower posse member. Very violent street gang. They got their name, the shower posse, allegedly because they shoot machine guns into crowds and they shower their enemies uh, with bullets. They claim to be good for 1,400 murders. So yes, we treat this one very serious, like we do in any other case, but with that in mind. Um, Tommy, why don't you stay back? You reach out for your contacts at other agencies, uh, see if they've got anything on Aubrey. Mike, I need you to take a look at our databases on Aubrey's wife, and I'm gonna take Michi for a ride. I wanna take you through some Jamaican neighborhoods. Okay, let's go to work, guys. Go. <laughs> Aubrey used to hang in this neighborhood. Oh, they got a Starbucks here now. Yeah, Joe, it's uh, Tommy. Yeah, you might remember this guy. I locked him up twice in the past. Aubrey Oliver Powell. And I got this new case. I need you to do your magic, talk to the sources. He's got uh, numerous aliases. David Brown, Charles Frazier. Got too fast for you? Okay, hold on. David Brown, Charles Frazier. You know, we're dealing with Kilbright on this case, so we're going to be uh, moving 100 miles an hour. You realize that, right, Rich? Yeah, I know. He runs a mile a minute on his cases. Kilbride. Yeah, how you doing? Really? How do you know that? Oh, that's great. What's up, Tommy? Hey, you guys are looking in the wrong place. What do you mean? What are you talking about? No, listen, I just got off the phone with the uh, agents in Los Angeles. They've been working with a source who knows Aubrey. Really? L.A.? He's never been known to hang out there. So, pack your bags, and we're going. Cold in New York, so I'm glad to be here. Oh, yeah. Shut up, get in. Time to go to work. Let's go. Well, I'll meet you over there. There's enough room. You know, I'll meet you over there. I'll meet you over there. Is you close enough to walk? No. So this is great. Thanks for picking us up. We just hooked up with the Los Angeles uh, Regional Fugitive Task Force, and uh, Meech and I are heading over to their office. They've been our eyes and ears on the ground out here until we got here. No. Oh. Hey, brother, what's happening? We just got in. 
No, no kidding. We're, we're just, we're by the airport. I'll get settled in and we'll get out there shortly, all right? I appreciate it. I'll see you in a little while, buddy. Thanks. It sounds like the surveillance team picked up on information that he's bouncing around out here by the airport. He might be right in our backyard. Aubrey Powell, they locked this guy up twice before. He's the bad guy, I'm the good guy, so he's gonna keep coming back and I'm gonna keep coming and get him. You know, it's not, it's not personal. The uh, surveillance teams that are out there now, put them out there in one of these hotels. Meet you're the one that's gonna blend in. So, uh, need to get out there, start canvassing. I'm gonna go with that on the cover. So I'm gonna put my stuff on, but I'm gonna put stuff on top of it. Make sure nothing's gonna give her up here. She looks good though. She's ready. She fits in. <laughs> Be careful, young lady. Yes. We have information that our suspect is staying at a hotel by the airport. What hotel? We don't know. That's what we gotta figure out. I wanna know if you've seen this guy. Not that I know of. This is the courtyard. Yeah. Check these names. Any of these aliases would work. No luck here. Never seen him. Mm -hmm. Nope. No, haven't seen him at all? Nope. All right. What time is it in New York now? One o'clock in the morning? Probably be an all-nighter for me. You know, tracking these dangerous, violent fugitives is a 24-7 holidays, weekends kind of job. It's tough. I mean, this could go down a variety of different ways. He could open the door, drink at a Budweiser, and we make the arrest. Or we could get in a massive shootout on the ninth floor in the hotel. Who knows? If he's a gentleman, we're a gentleman. If he's not, we do what we got to do. So. What's up? Yeah, I found him. He's at the hotel on the corner of Sepulveda. And Mariposa. You know you know the hotel? But wait, there's one thing. The manager said that you saw him. But the computers are down. So we can't check what see what room he's in. Oh I get this. There's six hundred and thirty rooms at the hotel. <sighs> Stay there, we're on our way. I locked him up personally twice before. Definitely a shower posse bad guy. He's a fighter and a, and a yeller and a screamer. I mean, he'll fight us. Oh, good. No doubt. Oh, He's well, definitely a yeller. If that's the case. We got a positive ID on this guy being in this hotel, so uh, we just need to find out what room he's in. The problem is their computers are down, so we can't check his name in the registry. It's our luck. Yeah, Murphy's law. We need a little luck. That guy fits the script. I'm like 99% that that's our guy. It looks just like him. Hey guys, can you see the, the black male on the terrace? You see him? That guy fits the script. He fits the weight. But I can't uh, tell the age. We're here in uh, Los Angeles looking for this guy, Aubrey Powell. He's a known Jamaican shower posse guy. Jamaican shower posse is a group of individuals from Jamaica uh, heavily involved with drugs, weapons. That's a bad crew. So uh, hopefully it goes down smooth. We got a positive ID on this guy being in this hotel. But uh, there's over 600 rooms, and the problem is their uh, computers are down, so we can't figure out which room he's, he's in. So uh, the only thing we can do right now is to keep the surveillance in place. Michi's inside the hotel. 
You know, she's got her badge and gun covered up so she doesn't stand out. I'm across the street watching one exit, and Tommy's got the other exit. He fits the profile, man. Look at that belly. His profile fits for the weight. Yeah, how much does he weigh? 210? 220? Let's do this. We send uh, one of our undercover guys right up to the floor, and we'll get the room number for the uh, balcony guy. While Tommy and I are sitting surveillance out here, I, uh, I put Michi on the inside. She's in an undercover capacity. She's got a photo with her. She's showing the front desk. She's showing the uh, room service people. Was he alone in the room? Two people? Go ahead, Mitch. We got a lead. The room service waiter said he delivered a bottle of wine to room 1523. He looked at the picture and he said that it's definitely him. He put a positive ID on it, so I feel good about it. OK, all right, I got you. All right, bye. 1523, positive ID. Chain smoker. He hasn't stopped smoking this whole time. Hey, there's our undercover guy. You see him? He's on the landing, right next to the room. Yeah, yeah, you're right next to him. Let's see what that room number is. 1523? 1523. Lenny. 1523. Yeah, Lenny. 1523. There's a guy on the terrace. He fits the script. All right, we got a story for you. We're pulling up now. The waiter. The waiter. Talk to the waiter. Just now. The waiter sees him face to face. Not face to face. He opens the door. One black guy opens the door. There's another black guy laying on the sofa. He said, it fits the description that you have. And you don't allude to any room number? No. But he tells you that. I said we hit 1523. Absolutely. Hey, Swenny. Yeah, do me a favor. I need the uh, card key to room 1523. Give me a call when you grab it, all right, buddy? Hey, it looks like we might have a pretty good shot at this guy. We got two independent sources putting him in room 1523, so I'm going to give it a shot. It's funny that you got the same number that I got from the waiter. Yeah, yeah, that's no nice. Go ahead. All right, we are in possession of the key for 1523. All right, wait for us in the lobby. We'll be there in a minute. Room service. Hello? Oh, OK. He said we. We. He said we didn't order room service, so apparently there's two of them in there. Um, Police, open the door. Right now, I'm going to count to three. The police, open the door. Right now, I'm going to count to three. 
Get down. 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 Come here, watch, watch, be careful, be careful. Got one more. Got one, see his hands. Let me see your hands. See your hands, keep him where they're at. Watch him. I got him, just stay with him, stay with him. Stay right here, just stay right here, man. It's negative, it's okay, negative. Yeah. We just gotta... It's not all, it's not all guy. Here's the deal. We need to get the hell out of here because our guy's in this building somewhere. Somewhere. So the drums are beating. I hear you. We don't need to be opening up every door. So let's just get out of here. All right. You know what I'm saying? Go. We'll be fresh tomorrow, and we'll come back and uh, pick this back up again. The surveillance team during the night picks on something, and uh, we'll get a call, and we'll respond. But uh, we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Plus, Meech is getting a little hungry, so we got to go get her so, a bowl of cereal. So every two hours, hours Meech has to eat. I just ate. Oh, good. She's still eating now. Look, she's still eating. Good morning. Hey, what's going on? Uh, working on the Powell case, um, helping the guys out in California. We don't have a room location. The hotel computers were down last night, and so I'm going to try to uh, see if I could put them in a particular room. This could be a possibility right here. So, I don't think anything got hinked up last night. Surveillance last night, didn't see anything coming or going, so. Uh, but we'll head back over there as soon as our ride gets here. Regional task forces guys are about half hour out. We've got a team in route to us, so. Uh, uh... Hello. Hey, chief, it's Mike. Yeah, buddy, what's up? Yep. Uh, the computers are back up, and it looks like we have a hit on room one four two three fourteen twenty three. Um, does the name Carol Davis Powell mean anything? Carol Davis Powell. Yeah, yeah, that's his wife. 1423. That's the target. That is his wife. Yes. Uh, it looks like she's set to check out on that reservation today at 12 o'clock. He's checking out this morning. 12 o'clock noon checkout, so you might want to get over there as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. We won't make it. They're in route. They're in route. But All right. they'll never make it in time. They got a 40 minute ETA. Checkout time's what, do you just want about to jog over there. I mean, what are we going to take? Okay, go sit in the lobby. Call cab. Tom, you can't just uh, take a cab. What if we need to uh, pay somebody? We need a vehicle. The budget rental car place? We need to go there. In the back of the hotel, one block down. One block down? You can walk, right? Yeah, you can walk. The back of the hotel, one block down. We can walk. Go get it, and I'll stay here. We're walking a block away here to the budget rental car. Picking up a rent the car so we can get around. See budget? It'll be a big yellow sign. Um, one block in New York is one block. One block in LA is five. Hey, Meech, here's our ride. So let's get over there. Meech, I'm just going to drop you off up here and see if anybody checked out of uh, 1423 for us, all right? OK, I'll call you. Lenny. Yeah, our ride's here. Just meet us in that uh, parking lot across from the hotel. Tommy, Michi, listen to me. Hold on. Yeah. He hasn't checked out yet, so we need to get, get a game plan and get over. They got a key to the room. Uh, we got a we key can, to the we room. We can play maid and in knock there. on the door. So He didn't check out yet, but he's still scheduled to. Oh, hold on one second. Yes. Go ahead, Meech. If I see Aubrey coming out, what you want to do? You want me to let him go on to the tree? No, 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 no. If he's alone and you can take him in the lobby, take him. Just call me. You're in touch with the... Take a, pa take a pack to it. Radio. Yeah, I got it. Well, let me tell Dan to meet us at the door then. Where is he? Come to the hotel. Hey, baby, he's here. He's here. Have a look at me. They're taking 
taking it. Let's go. Let's go, Tommy. Tommy in the lobby, Tom. Let's go. It looks like Michelle Michi's got a positive ID on him in the lobby right now in the hotel. So. How you doing? It's funny, here we go busted into this hotel like gangbusters, huh? and Michi's already got the guy in handcuffs. He's caught, he's in custody, that's it. Facing a uh, long time in prison. Where are we going? You're going to court, I'm gonna have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to court, I'm gonna go have a drink. No, you're waiting for me. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. You know I'm waiting for you. Step up there. Watch your head. Yeah, we got him. That's done. Back to New York. I enjoy Los Angeles, though. I don't want to stay a couple of days. Basically, this is how I go. That's what you heard, because you know I'm about to blow. I'm 